Hey everybody, I hope you're all well. I wanted to share with you uh, a project, uh, something to keep you and your kids uh, busy and creative while being at home. Um, and this one, I, I thought of it almost reminds me of Spirograph. Uh, it's one of the, my favorite games I used to have when I was a little kid. Uh, and some of you might be my age, will remember it was about creating all these fantastic sort of like lines and these linear patterns. Well, we can sort of recreate it um, with a few things that you may have lying around the house. So the first thing we need, the most important thing, is just a drill, okay? So most of you have that. Uh, the next thing we're gonna use uh, or need is I have here a flattened screw, okay? So this is really, really simple. It can be any size, it doesn't matter. Uh, and then we'll need a glue gun, okay? And then we'll also need a whole array of magic markers and, and uh, I think magic markers are best. I'm gonna say you could use pencil crayons. However, I think markers are the easiest thing to use, uh, especially once your kids get involved. Uh, the next thing that we're gonna uh, need is some heavy card or construction paper. You could use foam core if you have it. Uh, you could use, uh, I don't know, even Bristol board. Uh, but we're gonna do that. So I've cut these into different size squares. Um, and what I, you can also use as well, which I found would be really interesting, and again, recycling is fantastic. If you have old greeting cards, okay, because they're really stiff, you can easily cut out uh, the back where it's empty, or if you want to do sort of a design on the front of this, or maybe if the writing on the inside is something that's sentimental, you can just maybe do a little pattern over top. I don't know, and recycle. Anyhow, be creative, find things you might have around the house. The only uh, requirement for this is that the cardboard be quite heavy. You can't do this with paper, it'll just tear and fly. Okay, so that being said, we can start to get busy. So, I'm gonna start with a small one. So what we're gonna do is we're going to place the screw into the drill and you can see here we have the flat head just on top okay so what we're gonna do now is I don't know if you can see this but on the cards I just found the center of the paper again just going diagonal with a ruler you can find the exact center of where this card is again that's why I have them all equal distance this is a 5x5 five 7x7 five, seven seven, whatever size tiny dot of hot glue in the center of that square then we're gonna put the drill bit down, okay? And secure that, and we're kind of ready to go. I would wait a few seconds on that just to let the hot glue dry. And again, hot glue is the best and easiest because it does dry quickly and it will be quite secure. So, now we're ready to start. Here's the fun part. So, this could be you, your kids, whatever, get the whole family involved. So, someone can hold the drill and hold it flat then the next person is gonna get a marker, or you can do this yourself, and you're gonna start just touching it on the paper. And you can see it starts to create a fantastic pattern. complete again you can see the more colors you use the more interesting the uh, the pattern will be now to remove it just be very careful and release the glue ever so much and it will just pop right off just don't tear it right off because you may actually damage or tear the card now from here I also want to show you a really fun one by just using black and white but just using black markers really so we're gonna put again a small dot on the back we're gonna secure it on Wait a few minutes. And again, you can experiment with the size. This one here is gonna get quite big. If you start to get larger, I've tried it, it starts to wobble around and then it'll just fly off. But it's paper, it's not that big of a deal. So it's kind of fun. So here we go. So from here, I'm gonna get just some wide markers.
awesome this looks. And from here, we can peel them off. Now, do a whole bunch of these, and then I'll tell you, or share with you, what you can do with them. Once you're complete, you can cut them out, as I've done here, you can see, um, and you can start to create all kinds of things. Um, what I like to do, which I thought was kind of fun, is just to cut it right down the center, from the circles, and a little dot of hot glue on the back. Here we go, okay. Curl it around, and you can make this sort of really awesome three-dimensional cone. You can do all sorts of shapes, sizes, colors, you name it, glue them on backgrounds. Um, kids can hang them up, make mobiles. I mean, it's kind of endless because this is sort of a fun sort of graphic element that you can kind of push forward. Here's one that I completed earlier. Um, I did it in black and whites and pinks and using highlighters as well. Highlighters are an awesome, awesome color choice. Uh, and then by making some cones, I've also made it almost three-dimensional looking um, by putting some spacers in behind. I used uh, foam core and cardboard, uh, just hot glued them down, and that gives it just a bit of dimension, <clears throat> which is kind of fun, and it sort of just, I don't know, makes it a little more dynamic. Again, you can kind of see all the different levels in there. I hope you can kind of see that, that's cool. Yeah, and again, for this, kids can frame them, put them on their wall, uh, use them as greeting cards or things or what have you. So I hope you enjoyed this project. Join me often in my studio for some more art projects. Enjoy everybody.